easily to be joined, maybe at some point, by Aaron Ambrose, who is supposed to be dressed for game two, uh, but could not participate due to an injury. So we may have her up in the booth with me. But right now, it's just me for game two between the Bellamy Hornets and the Dau Wildcats. Now, Team Bellamy, of course, in their dark jerseys, and Team Dau in their light jerseys, being sponsored by the Leeside Wildcats. And then the Bellamy Hornets, of course, sponsored by the Oakville Hornets. And we had some Oakville Hornets on the ice with Team Bellamy. This game has some of the heaviest hitting women in hockey. We've got five of the most decorated women currently active in the sport. And we'll start with Team Dau. There's the starting goaltender, Genevieve Lacasse, for Team Dau. And on her team as well, Marie-Philippe Poulain and Hillary Knight, two of the top players for their respective countries. Poulain, of course, Captain Canada, and Hillary Knight for the United States. We also have on Team Bellamy, of course, Casey Bellamy, the captain, Brianna Decker, and Megan Mickelson. Rebecca Johnston also on Team Bellamy. So lots of recognizable names in this game as we get underway. Again, Team Dau, the Dau Wildcats in white with first possession and now Team Bellamy in the dark jerseys taking off with Rebecca Johnston down the left wing side. Taken away from her but gobbled right back up by Jesse Eldridge. Taken away and carried up now Right wing side, Marie-Philippe Poulin chipped it across to Emily Clark. Down in deep, poked away from Clark by Casey Bellamy. Those two meet. And Caitlin Gosling almost came up with the pot. Bouncing around in the high slot with Johnson. Throws it back. And now it's carried up by Bellamy. He just flips it down into the offensive zone. There it's met by Melanie Desrochers. Flipped ahead for Melody Dau, captain of the Dau Wildcats. Her sister Catherine also playing on this team. And centered out in front for Dau. She missed it, but the long shot bounces just wide from Carol Emard. And the starting netminder for Team Bellamy is Madeleine Boissonneau. She handles the puck now. It bounces awkwardly. Dau. Centers it, there's nobody there for it. Bounces to the far point where Marie Joel Allard keeps it in for the Dau Wildcats. Bounced out to center now. Flipped right back through to Kim Deschen. And Deschen stops up at the far hash marks. Throws it round. Back of the net, Halle Krasaniak meets it there. Off the boards, and now carried out by Blair Turnbull. She can't quite find a lane to skate through, so she just directs it in. And looks like we've got a neck guard on the ice. And Hannah Bunton. I think it was offside. Hannah Bunton, of course, 24-year-old from Cornell University, played for the Whitby Wolves for a couple of years in her PWHL career. Whitby Wolves sponsor of the Kessel Wolves back in game one. This is Lariane Rougeau. Puts it round back in the net to Catherine Dau. Comes out through center. Martin throws it right back in. Emma Martin on this left point. Rougeau plays it to Dau. Catherine. Tried to hit Jill Saunier with a pass. That didn't quite work. Bouncing around in the neutral ice. Saunier comes up with it. Backhands it in deep, goes off for a change. Martin on it again for the Bellamy Hornets. Pass ahead for Brianna Decker, and she carries it in. Stick handles around her American teammate, Hillary Knight. And now it's thrown out to center and in deep by, Kat, by Melody Dau. Caitlin Gosling battling for the puck. Scooped up by Dau. Sent over to the far side, but couldn't knock it down. Now Hannah Bunton knocks it ahead for Turnbull. The spin.
in her own zone. Trying to get it out in front, taken away by Deshen. Kim Deshen is away. Strip of the puck by Eldridge. Eldridge skates it through the neutral zone, gave it off to Decker. Decker tried to hit Krasaniak in front. That was Johnston. He's broken up. Pass across and off the heel of the stick of Maud Jelena. Back at the line, a large shot through traffic. Rebound off the post. Emily Clark almost opened the scoring there. Clark gets the puck right back. She fires just over top of the far side of the net. Krasania on the puck. Gets it to the near corner. Johnston trying to muscle it out. Sent back in for Krasaniak. She goes to get it. Clark tracking her. Sonye watching the near side. Johnston the lead pass for Caitlin Willoughby. Willoughby and Allard. Willoughby comes up with the puck. Sonye trying to take it away from her. Caitlin Ray got it to the line. Bellamy poked it back in. Poulin. Down the near side. Stops and takes it right back out again. Marie-Philippe Poulin. Chips it ahead for Clark. Just out of her reach. Rougeau's back on it, though. Neutralized. Catherine Daou. Skates it up the right wing side. Can't flip it past Bellamy. She gloved it down. But has to be sharp. Dives to poke it away from Emily Lafour. Or Sarah Lafour, pardon me. And centering pass. Couldn't hit Hillary Knight. Knight on it now, though. Back to the line. Rougeau long shot. Again, lots of traffic in front of Boissonneau. Bellamy in that near corner, pinned up by Melody Daou. Banked off the boards, but not out. Knight in front for Daou. She hesitates and can't get a shot back out in front and scores, Hillary Knight. A beautiful hesitation by Melody Daou, taking it down that left side. Just had Boissonneau all spun around, and Hillary Knight was wide open in the slot to give Team Daou a 1 0 lead. A soft muscled in by Cheyenne Newman. Wildcats take over, only for a moment. Shoved right back in deep by Johnston. This is Desrochers up the left wing side for Deschen. Tried to flip it ahead for Emard. And we've got our first penalty of the game coming up. Kelly O'Dwyer, the official calling a tripping penalty. Their player totally sure who it was, but it is Hallie Krasaniak going off for tripping Emard. I believe, no, that's Tracy Ann Levine. 78, not 76. And so the first power play of the game for the Dau Wildcats. Rougeau at the line. Lost her footing, but held in by Melody Daou. Poulain on the near side. In deep. Trying to muscle it in there is Clark. Knight's there as well. Got it back for Poulain. Return to the blue line. Melody Daou to the near side. And Poulain whistled that over top of the net. And is knocked down by a high stick for the Wildcats. Play is called. Face off outside the zone. One back to Rougeau. Poulain now carrying it up right wing. 
Pola takes a couple of hacks from Hannah Bunton. Got it round and in deep. Return to her on the near hash marks. Poulin skates slowly, looking around. Returned again to Poulin. In deep for Dao. Shot stopped and the net comes off as Boissonneau pushed a little too hard from left to right and just knocked the net ajar. Not quite fully off the peg, but enough to stop play. So the linesman readjusting. Madeleine Boissonneau started her career in Delusi with minor hockey out there before attending Rothesay Netherwood School. That's where she played her youth hockey. 9-12 career save percentage in the NCAA and one silver in the 2015 U18 Women's World Championship. Now for the puck, Decker won it. Got it to Bellamy, who fires it out and down the ice to kill the few more seconds on the power play. We've got about 25 left. Sonier's knocked down. Following up just out of the reach of Genevieve Bannon. And shot fought off by Lacasse. Bounces back out in front. Couldn't be corralled by Bunton, and she tried to poke it again towards the front of the net. The Bellamy Hornets have a Opportunity shorthanded. Poulin drops it for Rougeau and Poulin couldn't receive the return pass. She was upended as the penalty to Krasaniak is over. Saunier with Daou and Poulin trying to come up with the puck at the near hash marks. Daou bounces it round to the far side, but Rougeau waits for it. He had to be sharp. Rebecca Leslie got there. Dao still with the puck. Bunton made her make a mistake, and now out comes Leslie. Chipped ahead and in deep. Clark. Banked off the boards, but taken away by Ray. Centering pass, and Willoughby was on her knees. Well, she couldn't get her shot away. Out to Krasaniak on the near side. Tipped on goal. The rebound's there. They score! Caitlin Willoughby charging the net on the redirect in front. Grzaniak with the shot, and you see a great stick in front from Laura Dossler. And the game is tied. Face off one back by the Wildcats. Pass ahead, and here goes Sonia into the middle for Hillary Knight. Can't quite drive the net. The four knocked Dossler off the puck, but he's able to get a pass to Ray, who dumps it in deep. Deroche on it. Off the back, and now up the near side for Knight. Knight knocked down by Johnston, and Johnston and Knight going at it, and these two, obviously, international rivals. And a holding call's been made. It is Hillary Knight going off, still jawing a little bit at Johnston. On the battle in front of the Wildcat bench, Johnston and Knight were going at it. And Knight taking the penalty. Poulin won the draw, bounces off the back wall. Knocked down behind the net was Gosling. And it's flipped out into the bench. So a lot of the players on the Bellamy Hornets, of course, would have played for the Calgary Inferno, the CWHL, and some of them, especially some of the Americans like Brianna Decker, still remain at least part-time in the Calgary area. We know that Decker travels between her home in Wisconsin and back to Calgary and spends some time probably training and whatnot and looking for another penalty as Decker was upended. She tried to 
skate out to the front of the net. Nice little move and wa whacked out of the air by Eldridge. She drove the net. Dacker at the line. One time shot from Bellamy off the stick of Eldridge. And out of play. And then, uh, of course, the same same can be said about the Dawu Wildcats. Most of these women played for the uh, the Canadien de Montréal, as you'll see with the pads of jean Vier Blacasse. That's the old logo of the Canadien. And a lot of these women also still reside in the Quebec, you know, kind of Montreal, East Coast area, of course. You know, folks like Jill Saunier from Halifax, Nova Scotia. This power play continues, though, for the Bellamy Hornets. Taken over and fired out down the ice by Sarah LaFour. Megan Mickelson. Pass off to Turnbull. Carries it out. And a collision at the blue line as Saunier tried to step around Leslie. Sonia still on the ice though. Here's Bunton. Gave it off to Nicholson and couldn't quite get it. Poked away from the front of the net by Lacasse. Blair Turnbull was right there. Nicholson just squeaks out for Krasaniak. She has to retreat. Johnston tried to tip it ahead for Leslie. Doesn't quite work. Decker. Fighting for the pockets, lanced away from her and sent out and down the ice by Clark. Just a few seconds left in the power play for the Hornets. Johnston being worked over by Poulin, and Poulin falls down. But Clark followed up and bounced it out in front. The penalty to Knight is over. And Emard returns it back to Allard. On their own end. Melody Dau lost handle of the puck. Johnston just missed the centering pass in the high slot. And here's Poulin spinning up at her own line. Gave it off to Dau. Melody Dau knocked down as she tried to work past Bellamy. And Decker now takes the puck away. Gave it off to Dossler, who chips it in. Laura Dossler out of Edmonton, Alberta. Working with Allard, or against Allard behind the net. Emard is there as well. Doubled up by Lafour. She passes it ahead to Levine. Casey Ann Levine, only Wildcat in the offensive zone. Just got a backhand shot into the glove of Boissonneau. Lots of action already. In this 1-1 one, one tie, a couple of power plays, a couple of goals, obviously. Deroshay at the line, in deep for Levine. Shot wide of the net. Fighting for the puck. Pausabon on the pinch in. Levine lost her footing. Now out is Ray. Flipped it in deep, and Hornets just go for a change, which allows Deroshay to carry it out through the neutral zone. Dump it in. Deroshay on Mickelson. Turnbull helped her out as well, flipped it off the glass, but not out. Clark knocked it down. Krasaniak takes over. That's cleared off the glass, also not out. Second effort. Poulin's in now. Poulin returned the pass and she thought Dau was with her, but Dau got tied up on her way to the net. Dau still tied up with Krasaniak there. Krasaniak on the puck now. Ali Krasaniak out through center. Her team's going for a change again. Just dumps it cross ice into the near corner, and Catherine Dau goes back. He carries it, banks it off the boards, tried to get it away from Decker. Decker run into her and fell, and Johnston, couple of checks. Johnston ran into Dau, and then, and that was Melody Dau, and then Catherine Dau, standing up for her sister, knocked into Johnston, 
And there's at least one penalty on the play now. Catherine Dahu looks like she's the one going off. And perhaps Johnston is going as well, yes. I didn't catch the signal from the officials, but getting the right call here, I believe Johnston with the initial check on Melody Dau, but then Catherine Dau retaliating. So a little bit of four-on-four four action. I mean, it wouldn't be five-on-five five with the offsetting minors. But regardless, here goes Brianna Decker. Upended, and another penalty is coming to the Wildcats. Hillary Knight can't believe it. As we have a second look again, Decker simply just lost her footing, so a bit of a rough call against Knight. But she makes her second trip to the box. And so four on three now for the next minute and 35 seconds. Here's Melody Daou, spins away, waits for Poulin to come help her out. Poulin Krasaniak going to the far corner. Turnbull trying to dig it out as well. And Turnbull comes away with it. Pass ahead for Mickelson. Mickelson carrying it in for the Hornets. Centering pass is off a stick and just kind of bounced away and so this is Melody Dao. she fakes the dump in just wastes a bit more time passes it back to Rougeau return to Dao. now up ahead for Sonia and they just play a little pitch and catch here and get a change now it's De Roche on the ice Dao again fires it in deep and she will go change now this four on three kill unit. 37 seconds left. Sonia's upended. Here comes Decker, fakes the shot, tries to dance around Deroche, and the centering pass just skips away from Gosling. Sonia working again, got it in the offensive zone. And kill possibly the final 20 seconds here, maybe one more rush for the Hornets. Here comes Mickelson. Driving the net right on Lacasse, who makes the stop. A great drive to the net for Megan Mickelson, who recently returned to the international team, Team Canada. He was playing in the first couple of games of the rivalry series that continues in February. Out west. Scramble draw, Pazabon comes to it at the back wall. Pazabon trying to get away from Willoughby. And the penalty to Dau is over, just out of her reach though. No icing. Taken away by Mickelson. Johnston who's also out of the box now. Carrying it through, Johnston works her way on Nad. And a great stop by Lacasse. Knight return to the ice now as well. Catherine Dau, the far side and return to her. Tried right to hit Lafour with the pass. It was intercepted and Bunton is in. Bunton, drop pass, shot right on. And Erica Krom with her first opportunity, pinching up as the defenseman. A 
hard shot, easily block it away by Boissonneau. Out in front, and Dahu fired it over top of the net, and it bounced back out in front. Boissonneau's well out of the net. But Allard couldn't get a good shot away. Great defense by the Bellamy Hornets' entire line to recognize that their goaltender was down and out and had to clog up the front of the net. Bellamy poked that away. There's Amard coming in. Bellamy returned the puck. Bounced it ahead for Ray. Caitlin Ray worked over by Bannon. And high shot on Lacasse. And the rebound is directed wide, but the ref lost sight of the puck. And so play is stopped with just under two minutes left in the first period. We see Lacasse fighting that puck off. She thought she had it pinned up on her shoulder there, but it bounced free. And the referee thought she had it long enough. Daou, far side for Deroche. The Chen, excuse me. Battling for the puck. Ray, bit of a mismatch for height there with Rujo got it to the near side. Lavine can't muscle it out. Decker and Dossler. Had their skates tied up a little bit. The puck bouncing in the high area near the blue line. It's directed out and down the ice. Bellamy trying to catch the Wildcats on a change. The pass was out of the reach. Sonia gave it off to Knight. Tried to return it to her. Didn't work. Knight couldn't steal the puck away from Decker. Now Eldridge. Can't step past Deroche. Deroche now on the puck. 40 seconds left in the first period. Knight bounces it off the wall. Johnston couldn't get a shot through. Round to the far side, pinching in. Slap shot from Turnbull as she fell, is patted away by Lacasse. Off the wall to Saunier. Ahead for Clark. Here goes Emily Clark. Shot scores! Oh, she picked that left corner. Left for her, right for Boissonneau. What a shot from Emily Clark. And she has given the Wildcats a 2-1 lead. Seemed like a bit of a harmless play. She was the only Wildcat in the zone, but just able to elevate that puck right underneath the crossbar on the far side. And a late goal, just 13 seconds left in the period. As the final 10 tick off. Poulin just trying to waste time, getting away from Bunton. And that does it for the first period here at the Herbert Carnegie Center, game two. 2-1, two the score in favor of the Team Dau over Team Bellamy. Lots of action in this game, and certainly more to come in the second period. We'll be right back. I think I'm gonna run down and maybe get an interview from one of the players in the first period. I will return in a few moments.
Visibility is probably the number one thing for growing the women's game. Growing up, I always felt like people didn't take my dream seriously of wanting to play professional women's sports. So being able to be on TV for young girls to watch us and to see us and they can take away from us role models that it is possible to follow your dreams and to get to a point where you can play sports for a living. We need to continue to create a strong fan base and female sports is only going to take off from there. Heading into World Championships in 2017, I think that's when we were like, let's take a stand. We had the right group of girls in the room that knew we could stand up against USA Hockey and fight for uh, equal pay. For us to be able to sacrifice that tournament, put it on the line, was a huge statement from our end. There's still conversations that need to be had, but USA Hockey's done a great job putting their best foot forward right now, and we're excited to continue to work with them. It's an exciting moment for women's hockey. There wasn't one tipping point that set us off to you know, fight for women's rights and equal pay. Our contract hadn't changed in over like 20 years, and we had the right group of girls in the room that knew we could stand up against USA Hockey and fight for uh, equal pay. Heading into World Championships in 2017, I think that's when we were like, let's take a stand. We're not going to end up going to World Championships unless we get the right and correct support um, from USA Hockey. And so, for us to be able to sacrifice that tournament, put it on the line, was a huge statement from our end. It was awesome to see how much support we had around the U.S., all the youth teams, college teams leading into the tournament. We showed up only a couple days before, and I knew we were going to win the tournament heading in. Even without the pre-camp and preparation, I think we just had an unbreakable bond that no one could really stand up against. So at the NHL All-Star Game, I ended up doing pretty well, but I didn't understand the hype and everything or the hashtag pay decker until maybe the next day, the next morning, I realized my phone was blowing up pretty good. There was a young fan, a young girl who ended up videotaping it, and that's what made everything blow up and be an exciting moment for women's hockey. I think there's still some work to be done as far as working with USA Hockey and making sure that we're getting everything that we do deserve. There's still conversations that need to be had, but uh, USA Hockey's done a great job putting their best foot forward right now, and we're excited to continue to work with them. You know, advice to younger girls playing, I just, just be fearless out there. You know, you're gonna have people who are gonna tug away at you and wanna tear you down, but just be fearless and have fun with what you're doing. Growing up, I played on a guys team. There weren't many girls playing that I knew of, so that was really my only option. There were some teams that would say that I didn't belong in the ice, and why are you playing guys hockey? And that didn't stop me. I just wanted to get better, and I, I knew I was talented enough to be there, and I deserved to be playing. So if anyone ever went through what I had went through, and I think just use it as motivation and prove them wrong. Just be strong and fight for what you believe in and what you want. I was almost born into playing hockey. My dad played, and my two older sisters and older brother played at the time. So when I was four years old, I started playing in the outdoor rink, actually. It was like minus 30, and I was just having the time of my life. And so I think that's when I started to fall in love with hockey. Growing up, I played on the guys' team. There weren't many girls playing that I knew of, so that was really my only option. There were a lot of aspects of it that were challenging. There were some teams that would say that I didn't belong in the ice, like, why are you playing guys hockey? And that didn't stop me. I just wanted to get better, and I, I knew I was talented enough to be there, and I deserved to be playing. And I had a lot of support, I had a great team that I was on, and great coaching staff, and they all believed in me, and I think it really helped me develop as a hockey player. So if anyone ever went through what I had went through, and I think just use it as motivation and prove them wrong. You know, don't let anyone bring Visibility is probably the number one thing for growing the women's game. 
Growing up, I always felt like people didn't take my dream seriously of wanting to play professional women's sports. So being able to be on TV for young girls to watch us and to see us and they can take away from us role models that it is possible to follow your dreams and to get to a point where you can play sports for a living. Well, hello from uh, North York to uh, Toronto. First of all, congratulations, uh, Hill, on your uh, selection to be one of the best player of the decade. So this is like unbelievable. We are here in Toronto with six teams. Uh, you're part of the uh, PW. What does it mean to have six teams here in Toronto competing against each other? It's a phenomenal opportunity. Obviously, we have the best of the best in North America at the pro level. And to be able to come to different cities and showcase our talents and our skill level is phenomenal. So I'm really happy with the turnout tonight and hopefully we can give them a competitive game. There's a mix of obviously showcasing the best players in the world, but uh, as well as getting prepared for you with the national team. What does it mean to uh, competing in those uh, showcases in order for you to get prepared with Team USA? Yeah, I think we can practice all we want, but the in-game scenarios are equally important. And to get out here and get those touches, get those reps with fast players is, is important for our development. So we're happy that the PWHPA is supporting us this year. One wish, we all wish everything and the best for women's hockey. What would you be your wish? A sustainable, viable pro league. Sounds great. Thank you very much. Stay tuned. out there we're on the air it's hockey night tonight tension grows the whistle yeah. blows and the puck goes down the ice, ice. The goalie jumps and the players pop and the fans all go insane <laughs> the good old hockey game oh the good old hockey game it's the best game you can name and the best game you can name is a good old hockey game Where players dash with skates of flash, the home team trails behind. If they grab the puck and go bursting up, they're down across the line. In 2018, a lack of funding collapsed a women's game. The good old hockey game is only that when it's good to everyone. So Budweiser has committed to sponsor the women's game. This is step one towards rebuilding a future. For the game we all love, we need others to step up to. This game is for us all. For us all. For, for us, us all. all. For us all. Because the best game you can name should be the good old hockey game. Tonight. Tension grows, the whistle uh, blows, and the puck goes down, down the ice. The goalie jumps, and the players pop, and the fans all go insane. The liberal arts, what he scored, the good old hockey game. Oh, the good old hockey game. It's the best game you can name. And the best game you can name is the good old hockey game. Where players dash with skates of flash, the home team trails behind. If they grab the puck and go bursting up, they're down across the line. In 2018, a lack of funding collapsed a women's game. The good old hockey game is only that when it's good to everyone. So Budweiser has committed to sponsor the women's game. This is step one towards rebuilding a future. For the game we all love, we need others to step up to. This game is for us all. For us all. For, for us, us all. all. For us all. Because the best game you can name should be the good old hockey game.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Herbert Carnegie Arena in the second period between the Dau Wildcats and the Bellamy Hornets coming up in just a few moments. A big period for Hillary Knight, who you just saw interviewed a few moments ago. A goal for her, a couple of penalties. Maybe a, a questionable one on the second penalty, but regardless, she got the scoring going for Team Dao, and then Emily Clark with a beautiful shot late in the period to give the horn of uh, the Wildcats a 2-1 lead. And they're ready for puck drop in the second period. Lefour won the draw, Rougeau across for Dao. Poked ahead for Sonia. And she couldn't quite glove it down. Bellamy got it back out to center. Knight right back in. And pass as Sonia gloved that towards Lefour. And so play is stopped and the faceoff will come back outside. Jill Sonia, over a point per game player in the CWHL. Spending her time with the Inferno before being traded to Montreal for her for the final season of the league. Or what would be, of course. Long shot by Knight was blocked in front. Here goes Johnston. Right wing side. Steered away by Lacasse. Kozaniak stopped the puck and tries to carry it in herself. She does now three on one for the Hornet spot. Kozaniak couldn't find anybody in front. Big shot, sails just wide of the net through traffic from Mickelson. Kozaniak pinching in and it rolls just past Bunton and out to center. Poked in deep by Bunton. She is up against Rougeau, muscled Rougeau away from the puck. Turnbull, back of the net, tied up by Poulin, but Turnbull still got the puck. Takes it round and tried to get a, a shot on net. Leslie was in front as well, looking for a tip. Pass broken up, and now here goes Poulin with speed down her off wing. Poulin left it for Dahou, walking in, shot right on. Stopped by Boissonneau. Melody Daou, another one of the names that's been well decorated on this team. She's spent last season as well helping out the University of Montreal as an assistant coach for their hockey team. Ted O'Shea. Kept it in. That's taken away by Ray. Cleared out to center. Pausabon throws it right back in. Boissonneau left it behind the net. Stopped up for Martin. Thrown to the line. Derroche held it in. Derroche trying to cut to the front. Her shot just wide. Pausabon held the line. Taken away by Willoughby. Now with speed. Here comes Ray, long shot on net. Lacasse just steered that away and the second one went off the side of the net. Deroche knocked down, but tries to keep control of the puck. In between the benches, flipped right back out. Got to be a quick change on this long change for the Wildcats, but an icing call. A little bit of a lucky one. There were four Hornets ready for an offensive attack. Face off to the right of Boissonneau. One back by Lafour. Slap shot, fanned on by Sonia. Steer to the far side and out to center by Eldridge. Knight 
Ahead for Lefour, she flips it in deep. Knight gives chase. And Eldridge got there first. Off the glass, and Johnston carries it out through center now. Eldridge is with her. Johnston over to Decker. Stick checked by Knight, but it bounced back out in front, and no Hornet was there. The four muscles her way past Decker with a bit of an elbow, but right back on it is Gosling. Drop for Decker. Brianna Decker flipped it over top of the net. Bounces off the official. And Melody Daou into the middle for Knight. Just dumps it down the ice. No icing, though. She managed to get it over the red line at least. Prozaniak behind her own net. Sent ahead, and a lead pass for Leslie. Leslie skates it through center, tried to flip it to Turnbull, but it was behind her. And Turnbull had to come back. She's on the puck now, though. Left it for Mickelson, who banks it ahead. Tried to hit Leslie. And the Hornets having a hard time getting into the offensive zone right now. Brzaniak up the far side for Bunton. Poulin intercepted that, but Catherine Daou misplayed it. And now in is Willoughby. Willoughby all alone. What a back check by Captain Canada. Marie-Philippe Poulin coming back and taking that away. Clark. Stick handles. Into the offensive zone, the near corner. Stripped by Bannon. Can't maintain possession. Kim Deschen trying to muscle the puck away from Willoughby. Return to the line, Pozabon. Missed her shot, but a backhander's patted away by Boissonneau. Back out at center, Desrochers. Long lead pass for Levine. She just flips it in deep. Deschen gives chase. Up to the near side. Dossler can't quite get it out. She tries to push it ahead. Desrochers was there, and Bannon just throws it in the offensive zone. Boissonneau back on it and has to poke it away from Sonia. Maybe a little bit of a miscommunication behind the net. Thrown all the way down the ice. Sellard up the boards for Sonia. Krom comes to her. And ties up Sonia. Comes free now and Jill Sonia still on it. Here's Knight now. Knight with a long wrist shot. The rebound's there. Boissonneau's taken out by Sonia. But Johnston corralled the puck in. Rebecca Johnston up the left wing side. Still carrying it past Knight. Gets around Allard. Down to the far side. And no, the puck stopped on Johnston. She was the only one that knew where it was. The four. Bringing Dao down the near side, goes around back of the net. Pass out in front for Clark, and she fanned on it, but the one-time shot on the rolling puck from Rougeau is stopped by Boissonneau. Great back and forth action here. Highlighting again that brilliant back check by Marie-Philippe Poulin to take the breakaway opportunity away from Willoughby. She might have tied this game up. Leslie steps around Daou, carries it in herself, continues and stripped away from her by Poulin. And Poulin goes into the far corner against Turnbull. Now that's still Leslie. Clark now. Tried to bounce it ahead. Bellamy took over. Tipped in by Dossler off the pass from Gosling. Return to Catherine Daou. Pass ahead. Jelena knocked down by Desrochers. Changing hands at the line. Shot was blocked. Deschen follows up with the rebound and knocked away into the back wall. Ray muscling the puck out. Just got it out and she's knocked down. And the Puck return to Pazabon. She flips it in deep. Brzaniak reversed it. And Ray flips it out to center. Amard 
Trying to poke it ahead. Two Wildcats would have been offside. And they came back. Pazabon throws it in again. Wasano left it. And we have a whistle here. I guess it was icing. Boissonneau came out to play it behind the net, but not before the icing was called. So, face off one. There's Allard. And tracked by Johnston. Got it away. And now Clark bobbled the puck a little bit. Still hasn't settled for her, but she maintains control. Clark dropped it for Levine. Excuse me, Amard knocked it in deep again. Back out in front for Poulin. She runs over Krom. Poulin still fighting for the puck. Taken away by Eldridge. Can't muscle it past Clark, though. Big tie up at the near hash marks, and the referee decides to stop play. Erica Crom from Brown University, product of Smithtown, British Columbia. Is a two-time Clarkson Cup champion playing for the Calgary Inferno from 2012 to 2019. And I'm sure she's felt a check like that from Marie-Philippe Poulin a few times, having faced the uh, the Canadien de Montréal somewhat frequently in the Clarkson Cup final. Knocked out of the air by Knight. Rougeau now returns it to Knight. She banks it off the boards and out into neutral ice. I think we have another 21 on the ice. Doesn't look like it's the one that's on my roster, so I'll have to figure out exactly who that is. Here is Bellamy, though. Turned out through center, gave it off to Dossler. Dossler can't get around Pazabon, though. Hawk bouncing around, Pazabon on it again. Trying to get away from Willoughby, she does. And pass ahead for Levine off her skate and right back the other way. Are the Hornets flipped in behind the net? Deroche stripped to the puck by Willoughby, taken away again by the Wildcats and carried out now through center. Here's Levine. Levine muscled into the far corner by Krasaniak. And a pass out through center, looking right back by Ray. And it appears there are two 21s now. Bianchi, maybe a late addition to the Hornets roster. Kozaniak ties up her opponent, Poulin, in the far corner. Maybe near corner, tied up there as well by Mickelson. Comes to Krasaniak. Clark and Krasaniak battle for the puck. Daou holds it in against Newman. Out of the far side, Clark pounces on the loose puck. Knocked off it immediately by Krasaniak. Poulin follows up. Lost in the feet of the ref for a moment. Johnston, pass off to Decker. And could be a three on two now for the Hornets. Johnston, back out in front. Right through the legs of Decker. Willoughby bounced it to the high slot. Martin came to it. Drop back for Turnbull, banked it off the boards. Clark didn't know it was right in front of her. And a mishandle of the puck that's gobbled right back up by the Wildcats. And Daou thought about dumping it in, but decided to throw it back to Allard instead. And Allard threw it ahead for Lefort, and taken away by Turnbull now. Turnbull and Leslie return to Turnbull. She's upended, and Allard. Dangerous stick handle as Bunton was right there. Left four now with speed. Down the left wing side. Shot snagged by Boissonneau. 
Just under eight and a half left in this second period. The scoring has cooled down a little bit, but the action has not. End to end skating here. Sarah LaFour with that opportunity. Fired it right into the mitt. Rougeau with the line. He's handled a little bit. Dossler almost kicked it out. Came to Knight though, she scores! Hillary Knight, right around the center, not center, right around the face-off dot. Just ripped that over a screened Boissonneau. And yeah, Boissonneau trying to see through at least Saulnier and a defender, no chance. And Hillary Knight with her second goal of the game has made it 3-1 for the Wildcats. Dragged along in by Benon, and Kim Deschan with a shot. Snagged by Boissonneau. Hillary Knight, longtime member of the United States international team. Could just list off the accolades. Eight-time world champion gold medalist. And Canada has had a hard time at that tournament. And the last while, just one gold and that is singular gold in the last decade at the World Championships. Bellamy, slap shot through traffic, bounces back out. It was kicked away by Lacasse. Gosling at the far point, back pedals, and sends it in deep for Decker. Johnston takes it to the far corner, spins away. Johnston works it to the high slot off the post. That's two posts for the Bellamy Hornets. Decker can't quite work it to the front. Stripped away from her. This is Jelena. And now fired across. Jelena just out of her reach. Gosling threw it right back in. Turnbull comes to it. Taken away from her by Banon. And cleared to the line. Just out. So they had to retreat Leslie. Tried to hit Turnbull with a pass. Behind Bunton, too, but Bunton came back to the puck. A little give and go now between Melody Daou and Banon. Daou has at least lost her footing, if not upended, a little frustrated about it. Nifty moves by Rebecca Leslie. Get in deep. Touched by Mickelson, who's pinching in. But stripped away by Poulin. Nice. Toe drag to get free. Poulin now spins away. Looking for an option, gave it off to a large slap shot off the stick of Boissonneau and wide. Knight in the corner, skates it back out. She tried a no-look pass to Lafour, who was cutting towards the front of the net, but it was taken away. Here's Ray, two on one, fired. He's gonna go wide, but Lacasse reached out and snagged it anyway. Caitlin Ray from Cortis, Ontario. 22-year-old Merrimack College is where she spent her post-education, post-secondary education. Played for the Whitby Wolves as well in her PWHL days. Taken away by Dacker in the high slot. Pass for Johnston who tried to just throw it on net one-handed. Didn't quite get a lot on it, of course. Back at the line, Martin slap shot wide. Decker on it again. Centering pass, Johnston fanned on it. Comes back to Crom, her shot is blocked. Sonia intercepting that one. Decker knocks down Daou. Good no call on the play. They battle for the near hash marks. Sonia fanned on her pass, but got it to Lefort in the second attempt. And Lefort dumps it in for Boissonneau to play. Oh, a giveaway in front and as Knight skated through the front of the net. And that almost bounced in. 
The pass directs that away. Paws a bond. Can't quite clear it out. It's in the feet of Deschen. Paws a bond tied up. Battling for the puck, calling, looking for a hooking call on Hannah Bunton. Nothing going from the in zone official, Kelly O'Dwyer. Tie up in the near corner, taken away by Deroche. Carried out through center. Flipped in by Benon. Back on it, Levine. Scooped up and a one-timer from Dao is stopped the rebound, stopped two. Boissano standing tall. Just over four minutes left in the second period as it started to become a little bit of a goaltending battle. But the Dau Wildcats controlling most of the possession. Here's the play out in front. Bellamy just wasn't expecting another, again, couple of USA teammates. Good kick saved by Boissano off the one-timer from Poulin. Yes, Bellamy and Knight on that miscue. Here's Decker now, working in, pass in front, they score! They've been looking for that connection all day, and it's Rebecca Johnston finishing off the pass from Brianna Decker. And it's a one-goal game now, 3-2 for Team Dau. You saw on the replay again, Melody Dau and Rebecca Johnston. Johnston getting the better of Dau on the scoring chance, but Dau giving Johnston just a little shot at the end of the play. Really competitive game. Dau fighting for the puck. Comes out to Johnston. Banks it off the boards, but held in by Emard. Poulin, the high slot. Off to Dau, returned and broken up nicely by Eldridge. And carried out through center now by Johnston. Decker, the connection might come again, and it does! Two quick goals for Rebecca Johnston, both assisted by Brianna Decker, and this game is tied. That's all it takes. Two quick rushes, both. Brianna Decker, the catalyst of both rushes. Johnston finishing them off. And they've tied the game. Poissonneau just had a little bit of an equipment issue that delayed the face off, so appears to be okay. Flipped in by Catherine Dau. Now carried out by Willoughby, flip pass Knight. Willoughby, right a centering pass, Catherine Dau blocked that. And she's got the puck now in the near corner. Banked off the boards and out to center. This is Bellamy, watched by two Wildcats, an intercepted pass by Knight. Here is Sonia flipping that over top of the net on the backhand. She tried to sneak that one under the crossbar too. Rougeau. Bert Beroche, who's got some open ice, and she skates it through neutral ice. Fired that one on net. Off the pad. Of Boissonneau, and big crowd gathers in the near corner. Comes over to the far side for Pazabon. He skates the blue line, gave it off to Deschen, who wired a one-timer just wide to the far side. Battle comes back to the line. Pazabon into the middle. And Jelena tipped that just wide. Jelena from her knees tried to get it back out in front. Cut by Bellamy. Bellamy now takes off down the left wing side. Into the middle for Turnbull. Can't muscle it through. And Mard tied that up. Dau. On her own blue line return for Emard. Off the boards to Jelena. 
Yelena just dumps it in deep and goes for a change. Krom looking for the right option, tried to hit Bunton. Bunton just got a piece of it as it sailed into the offensive zone. Poulin now across for Clark. Clark, the puck's rolling on her again. She's having a rough time settling it. And knocked down as the puck comes out to center. Bunton, bit of a rough dump in. And now through center, here comes Clark. He's the lone wildcat, just threw that on net, went wide. Daou, down to the far side for Poulin. He's got Catherine Daou going to the net, but didn't get a pass off. Poulin still on the puck. Up to the near point. And across for Daou. Shot bounces in front. Big ricochet off a body. And Wassano was sharp with her glove to stop that one. Lacasse out to play it. Rougeau checked in the near corner. Puck stolen away by Eldridge. Turnbull now, centering pass, blocked by Lacasse. And Turnbull tried to follow up, maybe jar that free. And Lacasse managed to make the stop. Just 12 seconds left here in the second period. Very entertaining game between these two teams that are just full of talent. The 4 1 the draw. Catherine Dau. Ray stole the puck away from her and the centering pass. No chance to get that directed on net as the final few seconds tick off of the second period. A 3 3 tie between Team Dau and Team Bellamy. Two goals for Rebecca Johnston and Hillary Knight now as we will return for continued action in the third period between these two teams and possibly an interview in a few moments.
Here now with Rebecca Johnson. Two goals, two quick goals in that second period and a great connection with Brianna Decker so far in this game between the two. Yeah, I mean, it's her first game back, so I think it took us a, little, a period to get back into it. But, um, no, it was a good, I think, a good period and uh, for our team. Just to, we got the first period under our belt, and the second period definitely improved a lot. And, um, yeah, we think we got a lot of quick shots on, on their goalies here. There's a lot of highly decorated women in this game in particular, but a lot of chippiness uh -huh. between the two teams in this game. What, Where is that coming from? I mean, I think we're all friends off the ice, but when we're on the ice, we're on separate teams. I think it gets pretty competitive, so uh, no, no one wants to lose to each other, and uh, we always want to win our battles, so I think it gets a little bit choppy at times and uh, chippy and aggressive. And a tie game now going into the third period. What are you looking to do to try and get another one past uh, Genevieve Lacasse? I think just crashing the net. Uh, like our last two goals, I think uh, just getting shots on net, uh, making sure our sticks are on the ice and getting those rebounds. Well, thank you very much, Rebecca. Looking forward to the third period here between Team Bellamy and Team Dau. Hockey night tonight. Tension grows, the whistle blows, and the puck goes down the ice. The goalie jumps, and the players bump, and the fans all go insane. The high rollers, bloody score, the good old hockey game. Oh, the good old hockey game. It's the best game you can name. And the best game you can name is the good old hockey game. Where players dash with skates a flash, the home team trails behind. They grab the puck and go bursting up. They're down across the line. In 2018, a lack of funding collapsed a women's game. The good old hockey game is only that when it's good to everyone. So Budweiser has committed to sponsor the women's game. This is step one towards rebuilding a future. For the game we all love, we need others to step up to. This game is for us all. For us all. For, for us, us all. all. For us all. Because the best game you can name should be the good old hockey game. Hockey night tonight. Tension grows, the whistle blows, and the puck goes down the ice. 
Goalie jumps and the players bump and the fans all go insane. The liberals want to score the good old hockey game. Oh, the good old hockey game! It's the best game you can name, and the best game you can name is the good old hockey game. Where players dash with skates a flash, the home team trails behind. If they grab the puck and go bursting up, they're down across the line. In 2018, a lack of funding collapsed a women's game. The good old hockey game is only that when it's good to everyone. So Budweiser has committed to sponsor the women's game. This is step one towards rebuilding a future. For the game we all love, we need others to step up to. This game is for us all. For us all. For, for us, us all. all. For us all. Because the best game you can name should be the good old hockey game. When Willow takes the ice, it's always scary. When she first started playing hockey, we didn't know she had osteogenesis imperfecta. People call it brittle bone disease. Her bones technically aren't brittle. They'll break with less trauma. I was born with a broken collarbone. I've broken my elbows three or four times, both wrists six or seven times. She's torn her MCL three times, five dislocations. I broke my ribs a couple of my toes. She broke her proximal humerus, she broke her ankle. We might have broken a couple of my fingers, but we stopped counting at 20 fractures when I was 10 years old. People tell me that I'm crazy for letting her play, but for her, hockey is everything. Why would we not let her do what she loves? This one thing, I want to let her have. I want to let her have hockey. Every minute I get to play hockey, I would. I'd do it all day, every day. I get in that net and my mind just clears and it's just me and the puck. I play with the boys because they're stronger and faster. When we step out on the ice, they rely on me to make the saves. They realize I'm not just a girl in net, I'm a goalie in net. I'm so proud of her, for her willingness to go out there and fight. It's unbelievable what she does. The look of the boys' faces whenever I take my helmet off and they realize the girl just saved their shot, it's priceless. I love when you hear people leaving the rink. That was a girl. That goalie was a girl. They all act surprised. Like, like girls can't play like, hockey. Like girls can't play hockey. Just because someone tells you you can't doesn't mean you actually can't. That kid has had to fight and work harder, and she has to do it knowing in the back of her mind that every day might be the last day she gets to play hockey. I want to play as long as I'm able to. I tell her if I'm going to play in the NHL, just because I say I can't, I want to prove them wrong. There's a lot of stereotypes about girls. So let's set the record straight. It's true, we love to shop. We love to dress up and to put on makeup. We love to get together and we love to talk. We love to go fast and we love to dance. But more than anything else, we love jewelry. The women's movement never stops.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. The third period just about ready to get underway between Dow Wildcats and the Bellamy Hornets. Again, two quick goals for Rebecca Johnston on the connection from Brianna Decker. Have tied this game up after the Wildcats took a 3-1 lead off the second goal of the afternoon for Hillary Knight. And so, with overtime on the line once again, we're back for the third period. Face off, the rolling puck is knocked in by Eldridge, and she goes after it, centering pass, knocked away by Rougeau. Knight, back for Rougeau, over for Catherine Daou, now to Melody Daou. Rougeau to the far side for Melody Daou. She muscles her way past the defense and just floats one on net. That one's an easy save for Boissonneau. Face off to the right of Boissonneau. It's one to Krasaniak. He flips it off the glass and out to center. Pedroche calls a ball. Went off her off her stick and she had to replay the puck. Dangerous pass out in front. Anna Decker found the loose puck behind the net. Johnston fired that one just off the blocker of Lacasse. Very close to getting the hat trick. Puck just squeaks over the blue line. Bunton was flying in to try and take that right back into the offensive zone. Chipped ahead by Turnbull, and Deroche comes to it. Again, hard four check by the Bellamy Hornets, and that is Casey Bellamy. Tried a pass that was blocked by Deroche, and that stung her a little bit. Clark on the near side, threw it out in front for Poulin. That's taken away. Turnbull now, shot blocked again by Deroche, and that goes wide as well on the follow up. Poulin hooked a little bit by Leslie, no call, and Leslie took the puck away from her. Yes, there is a call. Rebecca Leslie will go off for hooking. Dead O'Shea beaten up a little bit on this shift, and then Hannah Bunted in front, almost tipping the second shot past Lacasse. And Rebecca Leslie gone off for hooking and a quick sort of almost a little timeout, a mini timeout. And I think Kelly O'Dwyer informing the bench that can't delay the game too much here. Knight off the face off win. This is Melody Daou. In deep for Clark. Return to Rougeau at the line. Poulin on the near side. Into the middle for Melody Daou. Shot blockered away by Boissonneau. Knight, centering pass, flipped over top of the net by Poulin. Daou in the far corner. Clark in to help out as well. Daou comes up with the puck. Tried to dive to get it to Rougeau. But Dossler was there to steer it out and down the ice. Poulin with a lead pass for Knight into her skates, and she tried to just get it for Clark. Clark wasn't quite ready for it either. Poulin, carrying it out past Willoughby. Stops up at the top of the near circle. Back and a shot, stopped by Boissonneau. Return to the line again, Daou on it, Catherine. She tried to get it on net, but that was blocked by Emma Martin and cleared out to center. 
Azabon ahead for LaFord. Overskated by Amard. And now in shorthanded. 40 seconds left on the penalty kill for the Hornets. Gosling gave it off to Bunton, and Bunton tried to just waste a little bit of time at her own blue line. Puck was stolen away from her. Carried in by Pazabon. Flipped behind the net. Catherine Dau stops it. Bunton was good on the forecheck, though, to force it out to center. Flip back in deep. Bannon giving chase. Bellamy, pass intercepted by Catherine Dau. Her neck guards falling off and return pass back to Poulin. She couldn't get the shot away. It rolled on her stick. A great give and go between Poulin and Dau as she reattaches her neck guard. And Boissonneau getting over to the left side of the net to stop Poulin, but so close. Getting that go-ahead goal for Captain Canada. And they stay with this line. Poulin out with Daou and Deschen. Deschen to Daou and to the line for Desrochers. Allard tried a shot, that was blocked. Daou holds it in, Poulin in the far corner. Pinned up against the boards by Mickelson. Poulin still with the puck, battling with two Hornets. Melody Daou with a move and flipped it over top of the net, but it bounced back out in front and Boissonneau knocked it in. And Melody Daou, who had looked skyward when she flipped it over the net, what a move to get free in the high slot. Looked skyward, and then Boissonneau, as she tried to come back and catch the puck, knocked it in, and Daou has tied the game, or sorry, gone ahead now for her team, four to three. Off one by LaFour. Bouncing around in neutral ice. Clark watched by Leslie. Leslie's stick was slashed out of her hands, no call. And in comes Catherine Dahu into the middle for Clark. Couldn't quite get a handle on it. Clark battling in the far corner. Knight got it back to the line. Rougeau with a one timer right into the crest of Boissonneau. Off one back to Rougeau again. She tries a long wrist shot. Off a of body in front. Daou with the line. Another long wrist shot. That one did get through, but Boissonneau made the save. Krom up the near boards. Turn bull trying to make her way through on the chip play. Martin lost the puck. Bunton in her own zone. Head for Willoughby, but she turns back. Left it for Bunton again. Stripped of the puck by Poulin. Poulin to the open side for Allard. Tried to spring Daou along the near side. Daou back out in front for Jelena from her knees. Stopped by Boissonneau. Jelena just losing her footing as she Received the pass in front and just couldn't quite elevate it enough over Boissonneau. Poulin fell as she won the draw and shoveled it to the far, to the near corner one-handed. 
Battle for the puck now. Gosling got it away for Bellamy. Return to Gosling again. And up the left wing for Johnston. Banked ahead for Eldridge. Eldridge and Ellard come together. Johnston follows up. She's tied up by Melody Daou. And Daou flips it out and down the ice. Wassano. He stopped it for Gosling. And Gosling with a lead pass for Eldridge. Taken away by Derocher. Pass was just behind Knight, but Lafour came to help out. Dropped it for Knight again. Backhanded towards the front of the net. Where's the puck in the slot? Steered away by Willoughby. Deroche left it for Knight. Knight to hit Clark with the pass, but went the other side of her and went all the way down the ice for an icing call. Off to the left of Lacasse. Deroche flips it across to Knight. Sends it back behind the net. We're getting a penalty call. Hooking, according to Kelly O'Dwyer, and it's Hillary Knight going off again. Third penalty of the game for Hillary Knight. Too sure about that one either. And now the Wildcats have to kill another penalty with just over 13 minutes left in this third period. Turnbull gets a warning. And Poulin on the faceoff as well. Leslie came to the loose puck at the boards. Pinned up by Rougeau, got it back to the line for Mickelson. Now Krasaniak risks a shot, just misses the far side, and that goes up and out of play, so the faceoff will be outside the Wildcat zone. to center, gloved down by Krasaniak. Cross for Mickelson. Off the boards for Bunton. Had to get it ahead for Turnbull. Poulain took that away. And now Poulain, shorthanded, stops up at the top of the circle. Sent it back for Daou. Fired in by Rougeau. They change the penalty kill unit. Just over a minute left to kill off. Johnston with speed on her offside. Johnston gets past the hard, cuts to the net. The rebound is there, poked away from Eldridge at the last second. Decker works her way around the blue line, takes a shot off a couple of sticks and wide. Just held in by Bellamy as she came off the bench. Sharp angle shot off the blocker. Eldridge back on the puck again. Centering pass, shot blocked from Gosling. Great play by Amard in front of her own net. Johnston mishandled the puck a little bit. Bellamy followed up. Melody Daou was there on the forecheck. Decker leads it out through center. In the offensive zone again, gets around Melody Daou. Couldn't get the shot on net. Bellamy at the line. In around back of the net for Ray. Stolen away by Pazabon and out to center. And Knight comes out of the box. Flipped in for Poulin. He takes it against Bellamy around back of the net. Daou tried to come in to help, but overskated the puck. Now Gosling 
Out through neutral ice. Pickpocketed by Poulin. Sonye takes off. Sonye still working. Got a shot between the legs of Mickelson. But Boissonneau made the stop. Zaniak, out of the far side for Leslie. Off the boards and out to center, almost taken down the ice by Turnbull. And here goes Bunton now. Can't step around Rougeau, but Leslie followed up. Stolen away and carried out to center by the Wildcats. This is Lefort into the middle for Knight on the pass back from Clark as well. Now Lefort in the far corner. Being worked over by Mickelson. Got it to the line. Mickelson takes over. Pass across for Bunton who flips it in deep. And Leslie, excuse me, Leslie is well offside. And the face off is going all the way down the ice. As Leslie was the original offside and I believe it was Johnston who tried to go in on the four check. Leslie hadn't returned yet. MR. Thrown in deep by Allard. Bounces out. Return to MR. Tries to get it in front. Kim Deschen almost. Swept that on net. Johnston. Bouncing puck. She saddles it in the far corner now. Johnston still with possession. Beautiful work by Johnston. Back to the line. Bellamy. Long wrist shot through traffic. Doesn't go off anything though. And Lacasse stops it there. Off one by Poulin. Deroche up the far boards. Melody Daou put it through her legs to Poulin. He tried to spring Clark. She couldn't quite knock it down. Willoughby. Pass just out of the reach of Ray. Right back in are the Wildcats. Clark with a sharp angle shot. Just wide. Pazabon, oh, misplayed it at the line. Couldn't quite keep it in. And the Wildcats have to retreat. Clark with a weak pass. Dau came back to it. Just tipped it in for Zaniak now. Up the near side for Turnbull. Whipped right back. Lefort maintains possession now. Dropped it for Knight return for Lefort. And Sonier couldn't reach out and get her stick on that. Tip it in. Bunton into the offensive zone. The four off the boards, just held in. Good keep of the line by Mickelson. Puck stops behind the net. So that gave the Wildcats the opportunity to take control, but it's intercepted by Decker. And Decker almost split the D. She got a shot away. Might have been looking for a hooking call. Decker. A couple of assists already on the afternoon, maybe looking for a goal herself to tie this game back up. Right there on the stick check from Rougeau, almost lost their footing. But still managed to challenge Lacasse with a shot. Catherine Daou lost sight of the puck, Melody found it. He's knocked down as it goes around back of the net to Catherine again. Who I have been told are not related. I don't know what my sources were telling me initially. Backhand shot from Poulin stopped by Rougeau. Excuse me, Boissonneau. 
But yes, not afraid to correct myself. So Catherine and Melody, apparently not related, <laughs> despite the same last name. Not always related. Ray with a shot. Blockered away by Lacasse. Taken by Levine. Flipped out to center by Melody. Willoughby slams on the brakes and passes ahead for Ray. Ray knocked into by Deschen. Tazabon battles for the puck with Dossler. And Mar dug it out. And now Deschen almost lost control, but managed to get it away to Banon. That's stolen away by Bellamy now. Bellamy muscling her way past the rebound. Stop two by Lacasse. And Bellamy and Emard were still tied up. Bellamy with a great drive to the net. Off Emard. Turnbull takes the puck and fires it round to the near side. Leslie steps away from her opponents and just throws it to the far side. Bunton. Big battle for it in the far corner. Zaniak helping out. Bunton got it in deep. Leslie stick handles away from Pazabon. And this is Bunton again. Zaniak pinches in, centering pass. Decker tried a shot and then got a shot of her own. A cross check has been called by O'Dwyer. That's Amard going off. Again, great drive, and the rebound came right out in front for Blair Turnbull. Amard arguing her case. But she did cross check Decker, and I think the reason the call was made was because she followed through and Kind of got Decker in the chin on her way up. So that's why Lamard is in the box for two minutes. An opportunity for the Hornets to tie this game. And Johnston, her shot was blocked, but she's on the puck again. At the line, Bellamy one timer blocked by Pula, and she waits for the bouncing puck to settle and throws it all the way down the ice. Wassano left it for Bellamy. Throws it across for Bunting. Back again for Turnbull. She knocked it down, but overskated it. And it's cleared out again. Mickelson. Move it off to Bunton. And the puck stopped on her. So Krasaniak followed up, and now Turnbull throws it in deep. Leslie tried to check Lacasse. She was out to play it. Leslie in the far corner. Pins up the puck. The crowd gathers. Pazabon was trying to dig it out. Leslie on it again. Leslie to the line. Krasaniak winds and fires, and that doesn't get through. And cleared out once again by the Wildcats. This is Krasaniak behind her own net. Takes the center lane and breaks out. Goes to the right side, watched by Sonye, and the two of them go into the boards hard. Sonye appears to be a little shaken up on the play. She's going to go to the bench as the penalty to Amart expires. Nicholson up the right wing side for Eldridge. Eldridge still carrying it in. Johnston off to Decker. She fires right on. Stopped again by Lacasse. 323 left in this third period. Still a one goal lead for the Dow Wildcats. Bellamy Hornets have been pressing. And a great carry in by Eldridge. Decker. Looked like she was just trying to wait for 
the screen in front of La Casse to get her shot away as Eldridge was headed there. And we've taken, see a timeout has been taken by the Bellamy Hornets. Again, 3.23 left in this one goal game. After the timeout, Boissonneau still in the net for now. We'll see if she leaves for the extra attacker in the final few minutes. Held in on the pinch by Bellamy, but Rougeau tries the other side, gloved down by Gosling. She couldn't keep it in. Poulin mustered it out to center. Bellamy right back in. Just out of the reach of Turnbull. No icing, though. She got a piece of it, Turnbull. Tries to pickpocket Rougeau as she's upended. Battle for the puck in the near corner. Comes to Clark. Emily Clark steers it out to center, but Bellamy took it away from Melody Daou. Bellamy's right back in. Tried to drive round back of the net. And then the cage is knocked off. So two minutes. And 32 seconds left. I'll take this opportunity to help the PWHPA express their thanks to their local partners, folks at Boston Pizza, Green Wind, Graham Alarm Monitoring, and of course, the multitude of teams that have contributed to this event, the Leaside Wildcats, the Scarborough Sharks, Oakville Hornets, Whitby Wolves, um, Hoser Hockey, the OWHA, of course, as well, Sports Marketing, All-Stars, and Groti Industries. Boissonneau has left the net. Six attackers for the Bellamy Hornets. Two and a half minutes left. Eldridge throws a shot on net, steered away by Lacasse. Johnston ties up her opponent at the far hash marks. Left four, can't clear it out. Decker in the far corner, taken away by Dedershay, and the battle continues. Krasaniak couldn't come up with it. Left four out to center, Sonia skating on it. She flips it into the middle for Knight, and Hillary Knight has the hat trick for the Dow Wildcats and a 5-3 lead. An unselfish play by Jill Saunier. She could have tried for the net, but she saw Hillary Knight all alone in the middle of the ice and gave it right to her for the hat trick goal. Pazabon out to center. Thrown right back in by Mickelson. Decker giving chase. Tied up by Dedershe. And knocked down by Levine as well. In that far corner, Johnston to Leslie. Back at the line, Mickelson. Boissonneau's left in that again. Another six on, four, six on five. Deschen. Got it out to center with the help of Banon, and it just misses the open net. Mickelson with a long lead pass. Leslie skates it into the offensive zone, tried to center it off a skate, and back out to center. 
Gosling now. Trying to hit Turnbull, taken away by Amard. Sent back of the net, centering pass. Willoughby had an opportunity, but it was stopped by Lacasse. Gosling has to muscle, get back to stop this opportunity, and Clark scores. Bellamy came sliding in to try and block that one. And that's two goals for Emily Clark now as Marie-Philippe Poulain muscled it into the offensive zone past Gosling, and you see Bellamy just trying to get in front of that one. So now 6-3 is the score, and not really indicative of how this game has gone, though. A really tight contest between these two teams as Rougeau just takes it into her own end and throws it round back to the net for Amard. Return to Rougeau as they continue to just kill the time here. Three goals for Hillary Knight, an empty netter to secure the hat trick. Two goals for Emily Clark, also an empty netter. But Rebecca Johnston as well, a star on the Bellamy Hornets as the buzzer sounds to signify the end of the game. 6-3 the final for the Dau Wildcats over the Bellamy Hornets. But it was a much closer game than that. Genevieve Lacasse. Genevieve Lacasse standing tall in net for the Dau Wildcats. You'll likely see Emirates Mashmeyer tomorrow as the backup and same thing for the Bellamy Hornets. The other netminder, Annie Belanger, you'll probably see tomorrow. A very chippy but very close game. And there the hat trick for Hillary Knight. Likely to be the first star in this one. I'm gonna head down to ice level and chat with whoever is named the first star of the game. Thank you for tuning in to game two. We'll be back for game three later on at 6.30. And as I mentioned, I'm going to head down now for the interview of the first star of the game.
Here with Emily Clark, third star of the game and the player of the game, I believe. You got the Budweiser red light. What's that uh, mean to you after this experience so far? I mean, it's pretty cool. They do such an amazing job supporting us, so to be able to recognize like that's pretty special. But, um, you know, obviously my teammates make it pretty easy for me to just go out and have fun and play my game. I talked with um, Rebecca Johnston as well at the end of the second period. A lot of chippiness in this game, and for her it was just, she was kind of saying, oh, you know, it's a lot of com competition and stuff like that. Where do you see that coming from on your side? I mean, we're all high elite competitive athletes, and even though these weekends are about so much more than wins and losses, uh, as soon as we get on the ice, we're competitors like any other athletes. So I think, um, you know, as much as this weekend's for the game, we want to win and you're going to do whatever you, whatever you have to do to make that happen. Well, and a big win for your girls and a, and a tight game, though, despite the 6-3 score. What are you looking for tomorrow as you come back out on the ice? Uh, I think just learning from the little mistakes that we made today. They're just learning experiences and there are little things in our game that we can clean up pretty easily. Well, thank you, Emily. That's Emily Clark. I'm Jared Bapti. I'll be back for game three at 6.30 tonight here at the Herbert Carnegie Arena.